Hi, this is Pete Lyons with another Let's Play Salesforce video, and today we're doing Einstein Analytics Data Flow Basics Part 5 using the Dataset Builder. Now, this is going to have a lot of overlap with Part 1 Simple Joins, but this is a different approach, gives you different results, and has different pros and cons. So let's jump right in. So from my data manager, I'm going to go to data flows and recipes, select data flow number five. Now, this is the one that we've already created where we're joining uh, account information, user information, and opportunity information all together. Uh, we also are slicing out those ID columns, but we're going to replicate everything except for that slice using the data set builder. So why am I doing this as two separate videos? Uh, the original one is to kind of demonstrate how to build your own augments. It's going to be essential if you're using external data. The data set builder can't grab that just yet. But also, if you just want to spin it up quickly, uh, we can just go to the data set builder right here. We're going to name our data set as Fast Opties. Hit continue. And we're going to start by picking an object. So opportunity, this is going to represent the base grain. And we can see that our data source is Salesforce. Going to choose what fields we're going to add. So amount, name, and stage, and probability. Now notice that we're seeing field names instead of API names, so that's one difference uh, between how this is handled. You'll also notice that there are no uh, lookups included here. That's not because they're not there. Uh, that's good because we're going to find those on the relationships section. So we did want to bring in data about our account, so we're going to hit this join here. Go ahead and hit the plus, and we're going to add some fields from account. So account name. We can also search to add fields. Grab industry. And now let's take a look at its relationships. Now previously, I had added the owner ID through the account node. I'm going to do that again. Um, in most cases, this is probably going to be the same as your opportunity owner. Uh, there's various settings that you can have to make that different. But notice that we, we can do this uh, relationship join on opportunity to get to opti owner. Or we can say, you know, give me the accounts owner. So we're going to do that. Give me the accounts owner. And basically what we're doing is traversing the relationship model uh, as far as we want. I don't know if there's actually a cap to uh, the number of uh, fields that you can pull in. I do like that we also see the field type right here. But we can, we can build pretty large uh, data sets relatively quickly using this. So now I've got um, opportunities with information about the related account and the owner of that account. So if I just click Next here, we can see that it created a very, very similar uh, data flow. It's almost identical with the exception that it does not have that, uh, that slice transformation included. So in the past, it would give us really ugly node names of just 001002003. But I'm glad to say that that's no longer um, a drawback. So we do get um, a nice clean data set that it, it creates. It's relatively fast. Um, one of the main use cases of when you would not want to do this is when your data source is not coming uh, from Salesforce, if it's an external data source. Uh, you can use these to spin up pretty quick data flows and then start adding all the complexity into it after the fact. So that concludes this video on the Dataset Builder. Um, pretty short, but again, it's a very simple, straightforward concept. So uh, I hope you enjoyed this video, maybe learned something. If you did, like, subscribe, and as always, thanks for watching.